Dogs, golf tournaments, kayaking, just some of the stories on this week's Weekend at the Lake, sponsored by Sir Dyke Yamaha and the Lodge at Port Arrowhead and Fat Polly's Pub. Back after this from Sir Dyke Yamaha. Hi, this is Kendall Serdyke, and at Serdyke Yamaha, we have been selling and serving the Ozarks for almost 50 years. We've learned during that time that our customers expect the best in their Yamahas, with same-day service and even courtesy loaner units. That is why at Serdyke Yamaha, you receive one year of free scheduled maintenance with every new and used recreational Yamaha bot. You can have more fun with your Yamaha boats and wave runners that are assembled right here in the USA and won't have to worry about maintenance costs for the first year because it is on us. You're right on this Friday through Sunday is the annual Canine Cannonball at Dog Days in Osage Beach. Like Water Olympics for Dogs, the Canine Cannonball is a dog dock jumping competition that has been a fun annual summertime event here at the Lake of the Ozarks. The Cannonball brings thousands of spectators to Dog Days Bar and Grill at the Lake. For times, check this event out on Facebook. Then on Friday at 7 p.m., the Ozark Amphitheater kicks off their summer concert season with the Outlaws and Renegades Tour, featuring music from some of the greats like Travis Tritt, Charlie Daniels Band, and the Cadillac 3. Doors open at 6 p.m. Get your tickets now at ozarksamp.com. This Friday and Saturday, it'll be at 6 p.m., the Camden County Museum is going to be hosting their dinner theater production of A Bad Year for Tomatoes. <laughs> by John Patrick. Okay, dinner service at uh, 6 o'clock. Play follows at 7. Tickets cost 15 bucks. Seating is limited. Reservations are encouraged. And this weekend is the 41st annual HK's Hospital Benefit at Lodge of the Four Seasons. This weekend-long event kicks off Friday at the Lodge with a VIP party for major sponsors. That's followed by a pairing party and silent live auction. That'll be on Saturday. The tournament, a four-person scramble. That's on Sunday at the Cove Golf Course. More than $100,000 in prizes are going to be available for participants, including pro shop certificates awarded to the top four teams in each flight. To learn more, to register, visit HK's hksgolf.com. This Friday and Saturday, Big Thunder Family Boating Center is presenting a kid-friendly family fun run. Participants can come by boat or come by car. In this fun run, kids draw a children's card and receive a prize at each stop. Registration costs 25 bucks. It includes participation for one child and your car or boat. Each additional child is 10 bucks. Registration includes a t-shirt, a goodie bag, and a meal at the meet and greet for the child. The meet and greet is June 7th at the Big Thunder Family Boating Center. The fun run starts at 11 a.m. That'll be on June 8th. It all ends with prizes at 5 p.m. at Captain Ron's. And on Friday and Saturday at 9 p.m., the Dave Baker Band will be performing at the H. Toad Entertainment Complex. After a lot of years of bringing the voice and front man for mid-Missouri's most popular bands, the Cherry Pistols and Five Turn Knot, lead singer Dave Baker has joined together with some of the best local talent to bring you the Dave Baker Band. They'd cover it all from classic country, modern country, southern rock, classic rock, a whole bunch more. Hey, we'll be back with a story on the first kayak meetup of the season and the Missouri Symphony Orchestra performs at the Ozarks Amphitheater. Those stories after this from the Lodge at Port Arrowhead and Fat Polly's Pub. On Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to noon, the Loa Paddlers will be hosting their first monthly kayak meeting of the season. The Loa Paddlers will be there to encourage and assist participants in learning the tranquility of kayaking. You'll be able to canoe, I think they have canoes, stand-up paddle boards, I know they do have, on Lake of the Ozarks. Experienced paddlers are welcome to come enjoy the opportunity to paddle and exchange information with other Lake of the Ozarks paddlers. Inexperienced paddlers are encouraged to join as well. The LOA, that's the Lake Ozarks 
Watershed Alliance. Paddlers love sharing the sport with anybody who's interested. Watercraft and equipment is provided along with experience instruction. It's all free. That's the greatest thing about it. Sunday at 7 p.m., the Lake Arts Council is going to be welcoming the Missouri Symphony Orchestra back to the lake area. It's part of their Hot Summer Night series. The Missouri Symphony Orchestra will be presenting a Strike Up the Band performance. That'll be at the Ozarks Amphitheater. This concert's for all ages. Ages. It features the Missouri Symphony Orchestra performing works from the classical repertoire uh, to Americana, some pop selections, including iconic vocal selections from Rodgers and Hammerstein with nationally recognized Broadway singers. Tickets, 25 bucks for general admission. Kids 12 and under are free with a paid adult. Visit artsandthelake.com for tickets and more information on that. And finally, this Sunday is the 27th annual four-person scramble golf tournament. Team play begins at 1 p.m. That'll be at Indian Rock Golf Club in Laurie. Hewlett Chevrolet Buick GMC sponsoring the tournament's hole-in-one prize this year. It's a 2018 Chevy Cruze if you make it. Teams and individuals are welcome to register. Uh, you probably heard a lot about the storm damage in the Eldon and Jefferson City area. Um, and uh, perhaps it's taking place up there, but we just want to reassure you that down here at Lake of the Ozarks, everything is fine. There's no storm damage down here. All the businesses are open, and they are welcoming you. So come on down. Have a great time this weekend. We'll see you next time.